first I gotta have some coffee. It is almost five o'clock, but I need a coffee. Worked out this morning. It's been a gloomy day, so I'm a little low energy. So what we're going to be doing today is kind of a little bit of, I don't want to say a remodel, but maybe recoloring. I'm not sure. So a while ago, Renee had painted the bathroom here, this cream, like basically eggshell white, almost type thing. It's called column white or something like that. So she, um, she primered over the standard texture, painted it white. And it was just too hospital white in here for me. So we got this peel and stick paper. That was really cool. I really like. And in this 315, this is actually a curved wall. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it's curved. And we kind of ran out. We were just using scraps. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap here. And then this here, I don't think it's going to come up. This is basically going across instead of curving against the wall because we just wanted to make it and then I had to make a relief cut here to stop it from bubbling but it didn't work out so basically I did this back wall went up around the cabinet and then above the door and then I just left everything else because we're going to put a couple pictures here and we have our pictures here you can see that's a picture of pictured rock there you go those are the ones we took when we were in Michigan and then we have these two fish we got from an arts and crafts show that we went to. So what we're gonna do today is remove this sticky wallpaper and put... All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is kind of a little bit of, I don't wanna say a remodel, but maybe recoloring, I'm not sure. So a while ago, Renee had painted the bathroom here, this cream, like basically eggshell white, almost type thing it's called column white or something like that so she um she primered over the standard texture painted it white and it was just too hospital white in here for me so we got this peel and stick paper that was really cool i really like and um and in this 315 this is actually a curved wall it's hard to tell on the camera but it's curved and we kind of ran out we were just using scraps so you can see there's a little bit of a gap here and then this here i don't think it's going to come up this is basically going across instead of curving against the wall because we just wanted to make it and then i had to make a relief cut here to stop it from bubbling but it didn't work out so basically i did this back wall went up around the cabinet and then above the door and then i just left everything else because we're going to put a couple pictures here and we have our pictures here you can see that's a picture of pictured rock there you go those are the ones we took when we were in michigan and then we have these two fish we got from an arts and crafts show that we went to so what we're going to do today is remove this sticky wallpaper and put on this new colorful stuff the reason why we chose this one is because our towels are pretty much the same color there and then we have another set of towels that are this blue color so kind of matchy matchy puts a little more fun in the bathroom but this paper here we're going to be um putting in the front room as an accent wall as well so a little bit of a cool project I'll show you a little bit how we're done I'm not going to film the whole thing because it is peel and stick so i'm not sure how the camera is going to pick up the curvature and obviously this is straight down so basically this is already popped off just because it never stuck because of the curvature of the wall so i'm just gonna start peeling away pretty simple and then i'll take off the um towel rack here that's actually too simple all right i'm gonna take all this wallpaper off all right, that was super easy. I took the uh, towel rack down, took the cover off of here, 
And you can see here the seam of the wood that was originally back there. There used to be a cover on it. So what I did is I took that off so it laid flat across. But you didn't even know that was there, did you? What my goal is, I'm going to pre-measure top here to the bottom. And then I'm just going to pre-cut this length. Actually, I'm going to start over here first because this is where the curve is. So I'm going to knock this curve out. And I think it's only going to come to about here. So I'm going to try to match up the seam from one piece to the next and then probably to the next over there. And we'll see how this plays out. So it's basically just going to come up here and then I'll stitch another it's going to come up to the bottom of the cabinet and then I'll um, I'll stitch another piece to go all the way up and match. So here we go. Ah. So you can see it's not conducive to curves. But it comes undone easily. So if you're doing this on a curve, take the whole backing off. Don't do it halfway. I know it sounds like a pain in the butt, but you just gotta do it that way. The sticky is good, but the good thing is it's redoable. And get around that corner. So if I start up here, boom. Pack that down. Alright, come on. first part done taking it back to the 80s so this is the hardest part you know I cut a square out underneath here you know I got it to here cut a relief relief and then I started laying it so all this was stuck kind of give me a base and then I just went down made sure I lined up this edge all the way down to the bottom and I had all of this basically up to these this line here all the way stuck and then i just slowly started pressing this way to make sure that there's no air bubbles here because right here is the uh, apex of the curve so if you get a bubble in here it's just going to start lifting so key thing is to make every sure everything's pressed all the way down as you can see i got it lined with the edging here so Hardest part first done. You know what they say if you've ever written that, uh, oh, if you've ever read that book, Eat the Frog, everything else will be easy. So now on to the next parts. Those are flat and easy. It's just going to be making sure I can line up this area here, which shouldn't be too bad. All right, second piece is on. And from standing right about here, I'm about arm's length away. It's really hard to see the seam. And the print is off. So as you can see, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. But if I go down right to here, the print starts getting off just a little bit. Then it lines back up again there. And then it lines up again there, goes off there lines up and then lines up all the way down so not too bad so from here it looks like one continuous piece and you may see that i may have cut that piece a little short so that means there's going to be a seam there but if i do as good as that one you'll never know okay it's been an hour two hours maybe 
but I have the wall up. And here's why it took so long. When you cut just two extra pieces, when you cut to the bottom, it's not gonna continue to match on the top and then to the side. So it was stupid for me to do that, but you just cut one piece for your first strip. And then when you get the big roll, this is just another piece I got stuck here because I'll show you in a minute. Because you have to match up the seams with the pattern. So it's not gonna just line up one, two, three. So not really gonna waste it because I have this little piece to do and I have this little piece to do and you never know what piece is gonna match up to where I have a feeling this long piece here is gonna match up better for this little piece and then I can just make a little cut across here, so. But all in all, let's see. Okay, so the first seam is right there. And then the second seam is over here. So you can see from here to here, I had this is cut off from here. And man, let me tell you, that was a pain in the butt to fold, go down and get the line cut here with the bathroom. So that one's done. So that's what I wanted to try. There's my yellow towel. I also have a blue one up there. So that just adds a little pop to the color, but it just kind of breaks up the white. It looks super, super cool. I Hopefully the color comes out in the GoPro as nice as it looks in here. But yellowtail, TP holder, everything like that. Everything's back in its place. Just looks super clean. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a quick little video, but it is just peel and stick. The number one thing is, is your corners. Your corners and your curves are a pain in matching seams. Make sure you buy more than enough. Um, this took, well, we bought two rolls. It took a whole roll. That's part of the first roll there. But the reason why it takes two rolls, if not more, depending on the size of your room, is because of the matching of the seams. So just account for a lot of extra. So I'm gonna be doing the front room with the accent wall, and that should be pretty easy because um, I think we're going long ways. I don't think we're going vertical, so it'd be pretty easy. We're just gonna go Welcome back, everybody. So we're gonna be part two of this wallpapering. Um, I've already had my morning coffee. As you can see, I haven't combed my hair yet. But we're gonna end up doing this back wall here. We're gonna go from up there all the way down and down there we're going to use a different pattern i'll show you that here in a minute but we just took off this what is this thing what is it called that, maybe like a, balance? a valance know, so grand design has these valances all around that match rv crap, RV crap. <laughs> so we just took it off here off this window and it is heavy put that let's put this on the scale let me show you Almost three pounds, guys. Three pounds. There's no reason for that to be made out of heavy wood like that. I know it's cheap, but that's the problem. Check this out. So that's one. This one here is three, equivalent of three. So that's four, five, six. That's two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven. Well, that's just up here in the yeah. front. That's just 11, 11 times three. You do the math. That's crazy. That's an extra 30 plus pounds for um, just having that. So yeah, it's probably about 40 extra pounds between yeah. them in the bedroom. Yeah, almost 40, well, that yeah, that's not even the bedroom. So yeah, almost 40 pounds in here that could be eliminated by something. So we're gonna find out a lighter solution and something that's not as dark. A different solution for those so stay tuned for another video and update for that but um yeah we're gonna start walking
So here we go. You can see it's not as easy. I mean, in the time lapse, it was only 24 seconds, but it was probably about a good 20 minutes. Actually, I don't even think it was that long. But, you know, the biggest thing is the curves. One thing to look out for is the screw holes here. When you unscrew them, it brings the particle board out so they don't lay flat. Now, if we don't put the, um, I know we're not going to put the valance is back on because they weigh so much we're going to figure something else out these ones over here i'm going to probably level off so they lay flat this one here that i didn't is um is poking out a little bit so you're not going to really see that but the one down here for the um for the slide the shade that is uh poking out a little bit but it's down here it's not going to be an issue um, but I am going to fix the other one, and when I do, actually, I'm not doing the other side of the wall, but those are the only ones I'm going to have issues with. But I'm going to tidy up that corner, and there, as you can see, I did pretty, pretty neatly through here. Kind of messed up that part there, but don't tell Renee. But all the way through, it's good to go. As you can see, oop, I got to lay that down. I got to lay that down there, but it's all the way butted up to the rubber seal. So now I can, well, I can't close off, but now I got to go across this way. And it sucks because the lines are going to go vertical. If it was the other way, I could just make one long strip going all the way down. So that's it. Okay, lunch is done. I had tamales and salsa. So here we go. Here's the uh, finished wall product there. Um, actually, I forgot to do that little corner there. I gotta do that. But as you can see, nice trim all the way around. And there's the seam. I don't even know if you can pick that up. But uh, the seam's right there. Nice cutouts. Then we went to the top. All the scraps I had like this, I just started cutting because they go vertical and all I need is short this way. And there's no, there's a pattern when it's on this big of a wall, but when it's short and it's way up there, as long as it kind of looks uniform. So what I've done is I had this big sheet that I made over there that I cut a little short, but I found out, so I've been hanging this part up under this lip and then using the razor to cut and using as a straight edge and I'm finding out this height is perfect for what's back there so I'm super excited because that's less cutting and it's just cut strip put it up there so I'm almost done I only have a few more pieces to go very excited um, hopefully all I have to use is this little strip left and that'll go all the way across because it's the widest some of these there's random little seams and there's like little less than a foot pieces and everything like that so can't wait i'm on the home stretch can't wait to show you when it's done all right we're done for the most part got everything the slides back got behind the coffee maker um there's that little strip i gotta replace there i gotta do a whole nother open up another package to line that up perfectly it's not much, but it's just enough for the eye to see, especially for me. I know where a lot of these little seams are. No one else does once you see them. If you were to walk in here, you probably wouldn't see a seam, but I know where they're at. We, this, we use this peel and stick stuff from Amazon. This stuff works really, really well. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's real easy other than prepping the wall. Hopefully you enjoyed this with the bathroom wallpaper going up. We really like it. Um, we just walked by and it's just like, it's so cool to see the bathroom. I'll show you that again real quick. There you go. It's just really nice. Um, just fun, just really fun to look at all the time. It's, you know, it's super cool. But uh, this paper here, man, it just adds a little bit of brightness to it but it's just not solid white i like it i like it a lot leave a comment down below um we have a question for y'all so it stops over there by the coffee machine by the coffee bar we want to think we let's see we want to continue just to this wall to the bedroom right here just right here to this 
What do you think? Should we do it? Should we not? Let me know. Is it too much? Um, it still kind of goes with the accent wall, even though it curves around. I'm kind of digging it. I really like this. Wouldn't do any more than that. So let, me, let us know. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps us out. Also, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, consider subscribing. Um, that definitely lets us know that you guys are watching and we'll continue to make more videos. We're trying to hit that, uh, we really want to shoot for that thousand sub uh, mark here soon. Um, but, you know, we're working on it. We'll see. So if you're in any Facebook forums or anything like that and anybody asks a question, link this video, copy it, link it to that forum, and then uh, we'll just move on from there. So again, like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, up for the journey for all our fun daily adventures. So we're here in Bradenton. We are off to Yoder's in Sarasota. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.